We've already got quite a bit of coverage on the LG V30, but now that it's finally available for the general consumer, it's a good time to take a look at some of the first things you should do when you take it out of the box. The first thing you might want to do with the V30 is change the launcher. By default, it's set up without an app drawer, which can be pretty polarizing amongst Android users. Luckily, if this isn't your thing, you can just jump into the home screen settings and re-enable the app drawer. I've been pretty happy with the default launcher this way, but of course, you can always download a third-party alternative like Nova or Action Launcher too. One of the V30's best features is its quad DAC for high fidelity audio. You'll immediately notice a difference when plugging in a pair of wired headphones, but for an even better experience, you'll want to start using high quality audio if you weren't already. Lossless audio files are ideal, but even just upping the streaming quality in Spotify or Google Play Music will sound significantly better. The V30 has amazingly powerful video capabilities, but with only 64GB of internal storage, it's bound to fill up fast if you're shooting a lot in 4K. Luckily, there's a space for a microSD card on the SIM tray, so you can add up to 2TB of additional storage and shoot to your heart's content. You're also probably going to want a case for the V30, even if you usually carry your phones without one. I know, this video is starting to sound like an accessory pitch, but look, the V30 is slick. It's more slippery than the Galaxy Note 8 or pretty much any phone I've handled recently, so whether it's a skin or a case, it's definitely a good idea to give yourself some extra grip. Lastly, the V30 replaced the V20's secondary screen with a floating bar that holds quick tools like GIF captures, selective screenshots, and shortcuts to your contacts and calendar. This is usually the kind of feature that I immediately disable, but LG's shortcuts are actually genuinely useful, and you can even customize them with your own apps. It's definitely worth giving a shot. Stay tuned for more V30 coverage in the coming days, and subscribe so you don't miss when a new video goes live. Thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you next time.